When a deal is signed to deliver oil or gas, who actually pays for the ship? Who handles the fuel costs, the insurance, and the route risk? The answer is freight, and today we'll explain how freight rates shape energy trade around the world. Freight is the cost of transporting cargo by sea. In energy markets, there are two major models. Spot charter, a one-time trip paid at market rate. Time charter, renting the vessel by the day over months or years. The choice impacts cost, risk, and control. Freight terms are detailed in every contract because missing just one day or one clause could mean financial losses. Freight rates are affected by vessel type and size, from handy size to VLCC, route complexity, distance, canal fees, piracy zones, bunker fuel prices, vessel availability, market supply, insurance including war risk and P&L, idle time such as delays at ports or bad weather. These factors combine into a real-time freight formula. A route that costs $38 per metric ton today might cost $47 next week. That volatility directly affects the trader's profit and risk. Freight is a key part of the trade structure. Under FOB, the buyer arranges and pays for freight. Under CIF, the seller includes it in the delivery. Choosing the right ANCO terms can change the economics of a deal. Understanding freight helps you calculate exposure, negotiate better terms, and avoid nasty surprises. Freight isn't just a logistics cost, it's a market of its own. Mastering freight means understanding energy flows and staying ahead of the game.